you've written your thesis, your manuscript or your essay and you want some feedback before submission. What if I told you there's an AI tool called Thesify AI that allows you to submit your work privately. It won't be used to train itself. It's not going on OpenAI or ChatGPT and you will get tailored feedback on how to improve and resources that you might find useful. Yeah. In today's video, I'm going to be going through this tool called Thesify AI, which is a terrifyingly smart essay or research paper feedback tool. So if you want instant feedback on what you've written, then keep on watching. Now, Thesify AI is an ethical AI tool that works alongside students and encourages them to develop independent thinking skills and guides academic performance without breaking the academic rules. So you're not allowed to plagiarize, you're developing your own work only. It isn't just generating AI text for you. Instead of all of that, it's providing you with practical assistance by pointing out areas for improvement so you feel more confident in your work. I'm on Thesify AI. I'm really excited to see what this is going to do for my essay. So all you have to do is drag and drop your document into this platform. Are you the author? Yes. What kind of paper is it? This is an essay. So it could be a scientific paper, it could be a thesis, grant proposal, but mine's an essay. And then I need to write some detail about the essay. Okay, so I've added all of my details in, my word limit and the profession field of study as well. And now it's going to go through my document and give me feedback. So I'm really excited to see. On the right hand side, you can see all of the feedback provided to me. So firstly, there's the feedback summary. So what works well, what can be improved and the overall overall assessment. It needs more detailed examples and a bit more on addressing the counter arguments to be a bit more balanced. That's really good because it's it's showing me that I haven't got enough critical discussion, which is usually what students are lacking on. Um, so this is how I could improve. Um, revise the thesis statement to emphasize a debatable stance, okay, <laughs> and this would have a high impact. Enhance the depth of analysis, ensure proper citation, which means I haven't maybe cited very well or I haven't linked properly between claims and evidence. These are all really powerful, impactful recommendations. So straight away, I have that as information for me. It's then going to give me some suggested topics. So these are topics that I could include to improve and enhance what I've already written. So it's uh, saying that maybe I can add a bit more detail about the technologies, maybe, maybe the attitudes um, and the sub-studies. Maybe I can think about the challenges that are faced um, um, maybe about primary care. So it's saying that I've discussed it a little bit, but it doesn't fully address all aspects. But what I have answered are these two questions. So I've really looked at how it influences the adoption and implementation. So that's really good. So the next bit of feedback I'm getting from Theo, by the way, Theo is Thesify's AI character who's giving me this feedback. So imagine Theo is your professor. Let's think about it like that. So Theo is now saying that um, I have met my purpose in some points, but I do need improvement. So I've met this question. So it's it's explained the concept of the system. So I've met that, but I haven't necessarily summarized the findings from four papers. And this is really important because the whole premise of this uh, essay is to summarize the papers. So if I haven't met that, that's really important and quite alarming. I haven't met this purpose. So it's saying that I need to evaluate the effectiveness by weighing their strengths and weaknesses out. And I haven't met this. Okay, so I need to add this in. So you can, you can start to see how by looking at what Theo has recommended me, I can now add this back into my essay and enhance and improve it you know, really, really easily. By the way, you can also minimize the screen so it allows you to fully have the feedback, but I like having both because it means that I'm able to have my feedback on one side and also kind of match up with um, what I've written. So that's just something to bear in mind in terms of like the look. Then this bit is the next important bit. Now it's going to give me feedback on my thesis statement and it's saying that actually I can improve this. It's taken my thesis statement and it's asked a few questions. For example, it said, does my thesis pass the so what test? Um, so what? So why do we care about this? So what? Why is this interesting? And it's saying, yes, I've passed it. So that's great. And then does this pass my how and why? Which means that I've clearly outlined a specific investigation and it's saying that I've passed that, which is great. I'm really happy about that. 
Then it's saying that, can my thesis statement be challenged? For this, it's saying, no, it doesn't. And what that means is that you haven't necessarily provided any other opinions or any other thought-provoking arguments that allows your thesis to be to be challenged. You've just given kind of factual information and not really information that's delving a little bit more into the critique, which matches up with the feedback that it mentioned earlier about the need for more critical discussion. So that's really powerful. And then moving on to the evidence. So looking at the evidence, is there enough evidence that will provide me with a good interpretation and recommendations for this essay? And it's saying that it could be improved. Um, I've met certain things, but there are certain aspects that I have not met. There are certain missing references as well. It says this evidence lacks a citation. <laughs> so that's, oops, I forgot to do that. Um, and it's saying that I've got weak analysis patterns. Um, claims are not supported by evidence. Uh, I'm restating a claim rather than analyzing. And again, it's given me recommendations to be able to improve this. I'm I'm really shocked. I'm, I'm actually very surprised. And I think this is the future. This is genuinely the future of university. Students are going to be able to have this as part of their feedback. And I can't believe that this is available to any individual. I'll leave the link for it down below if you want to go try it, by the way. And I also have a discount code. But I'm genuinely shocked as to the depth of feedback. This is as as much feedback as I would have given if I had re read this essay myself as a human. I can also generate a PDF <laughs> report and export this for my feedback. And I can use, maybe if I print this out, I can use this side by side whilst making those changes and kind of tick it off. I, I personally just like to print things out. So I think this would be a lot more useful for me so I can have my feedback on the side and then my text on the other side. Another thing I wanna mention actually with Thesify is that you can edit the document really easily, but you can see that I can very easily move different sections around um, and it's not so static in terms of the editing. And that's something that I like because I find that when I'm editing large like theses or large kind of texts or even things that have smaller paragraphs like research papers, I just sometimes want to be able to shuffle them around a little bit more and it allows me to move it really simply. The next category that you can get feedback on is on research papers. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using a research paper that has already been published. Um, so no, I'm not the author of this one. It's a scientific paper. Let's go next. Um, it's already been submitted. So you can say it's an early draft, final draft, but I'm going to say it's already submitted. So this is going to be interesting because this paper has already been published. So it's, <laughs> it's going to be interesting to point out all of the issues with the paper. The summary of the paper, it presents a well-structured analysis, um, what could be improved, maybe the discussion could be improved. And it's not just saying the discussion without giving an explanation. It's saying actually there could be a better connection between the results and the ecological implications um, and giving more detail on the data sources. So overall, it requires minor revisions to clarify um, before publication. And it could actually give have quite a significant impact in the field with the recommendation. So it's my, they're very minor. It's been published already, so it's, <laughs> it's a good paper. But of course, it's not perfect, and there's always things that you can improve on. The next one is the purpose. Again, this is excellent, and I'm glad that it's showing this. And I feel like this is kind of proof of concept of Thesify, uh, because it's showing that it has got a good purpose. And again, it's been published, so I'd be very surprised if the purpose hadn't been well answered. Then we can go on to digest. So this is kind of more of a deeper digest about this paper, um, the main claims for this paper, the conclusion, and also the main method. This digest you can share with other people, and it's kind of, a, if this is a paper that you haven't written and it's something that you're reading, then it's great to be able to determine whether you want to read this paper or not based on their claims and their keywords and the summary as well. Moving on to research opportunities. So this is a really good one for maybe finding a gap in literature that is relevant to this paper. Um, and it kind of gives you some directions that you might want to consider exploring. So for example, you've got this paper here you can sh look at related resources if you click on one of the titles here you can find any related resources that are similar to this one that provides you with a continuation and a bit of a initial literature search essentially and these are essentially diving even deeper into any potential gaps in literature and opportunities for you to develop this paper and, and this particular research question. So then we were moving on to resources and these are publications 
and that are relevant to the paper that you have you're going to publish or that is already published and you can also see journals and this gives you an idea of the journals that are most relevant to this paper so if you're thinking about publishing maybe this would be a good one because it matches 93 percent it has quite a high quite a high impact factor there are also conferences that are relevant this is really cool conferences that are relevant that you could go and speak at um so this would be this year later this year so you could say okay let me go to this conference and maybe i will submit my research paper to this conference um, and you never know it's, it, I wouldn't have found this conference otherwise and for these publications within this list you can save them into a collection so I can start a new collection and I can save them into my collections and then you can see here I have all of my collections in one place and if you want to try Thesify they have kindly given you guys 20% off using the discount code AMY20 I will leave it all down below all the details will be there so go and check it out this is really cool it's a really cool platform that allows you to get feedback and it's completely ethical this is just you getting feedback giving suggestions and like i said earlier it's essentially just your ai professor it's essentially just a teacher a supervisor your lecturer someone from the journal <laughs> giving you feedback what it's doing is saving you hours of time but it's also giving you the tools to learn how to do it better next time now i know that i need to add citations for every single thing i write now i know that i need to connect with here and here now i know that i need to have a stronger thesis statement and this is how i can do it and by using thesify i'm able to get all of that feedback and that tailored support instantly I really think this is powerful. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, then leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're going to try Thesify yourself or if you've even heard of it before. And I hope to see you in my next video. And like I said, all the links will be down below. <laughs> so go ahead, click on them and try it out for yourself. And good luck writing. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.